special here. In Rancho Cucamonga, just outside Los Angeles, I'm introduced to the Pikmin. This is our Pikmin, coming directly from China. All right, here we go. China's Kaiyun Motors owns Las Vegas registered Key Electric Auto, which is now selling Pikmin EV pickup trucks in the United States. The Pikmin can travel 110 kilometers on a single charge and has a base price of just $5,500. The existing competition is coming from um, golf carts, but the golf carts, actually, they're more expensive and they don't have this kind of uh, payload capacity. So right now we're driving three kilowatt option, uh, which is about 4.5 horsepower. It has enough torque to carry one ton uh, and to about three, to three tons. All three sides come right down, revealing a 1.5 meter by 1.2 meter space. Enough room for a side-by-side -side fridge or flat screen TV. And in the front, we find the frunk, which has about three liters of space. Plenty of room for a large backpack and other items. With a top speed of 40 kilometers or 25 miles per hour, the Pikmin is for off-road purposes only right now, as it's still in the process of getting the certification to be driven on ordinary streets. So far, U.S. customers are primarily using the Pikmin at construction sites and farms. A lot of these um, farmers, how much they spend every year on gasoline and diesel is just outrageous. And, and, so, and plus all the tariff on China's side, so it's actually hurting their bottom line. It's really just a better proposition. Selling an electric vehicle is difficult. Selling a Chinese electric vehicle is doubly difficult. The good news is there aren't a lot of examples to play against, so they have a chance to establish themselves as a positive image. Coates consulted for the original electric vehicle that's become the Polaris Gem, which costs several thousand dollars more than the Pikmin. It looks like they've got something that could really do the job. They need to get a lot of the vehicles in customer hands in the U.S. and see how they're used here to kind of fine-tune it maybe for the market. In China, Cayenne Motors just introduced this four-seater EV truck, which they'll also seek to bring to the U.S. and Europe in the near future. We're going to have stepping stones all the way up to, you know, for on-road, full-road pickup versions as well. We're actually going to think of bringing manufacturing here to the U.S. and to Mexico. So then that's really going to fight, combat the tariff issue, import tax issues, and also bring down the cost as well. While the team showed off the handling capabilities of the Pikmin, they realized the true test will be how it performs with U.S. customers and how they utilize their feedback to keep improving the driving experience. Mark New, CGTN, Rancho Cucamonga, California.